Hey, I'm Logan Christopher, CEO and co-founder of Lost Empire Herbs. At Lost Empire, we like to focus on this idea of performance herbalism, that you can perform better at life, whether that's the boardroom, the bedroom, in the gym, wherever else you want. If you want your stress or your sleep to be better, there are some herbs that can help you do that. Let's talk about some today. Hey guys, do you want to be better? Find out why ashwagandha may be an important plant ally for you. Hey, I'm Logan Christopher from Lost Empire Herbs, and today I want to talk about ashwagandha's benefits for men. Ashwagandha is a root that is used from Ayurvedic medicine and has been for thousands of years. And lately it's become quite a bit more popular, and as far as the different herbs that are out there, a good amount of science is being done behind ashwagandha because it is doing so many different things in the body. So let's talk about this. What do you want as a guy? All kinds of different things you could be going for, but uh, let's start with exercise. Some of the research is showing improved exercise performance, improved muscle strength from taking ashwagandha. Uh, and before I get into these specifics or dive further, let's talk about kind of the basics of it. Ashwagandha is an adaptogen. It is helping the body better be able to adapt to stress, both physical stress and mental stress. And in doing this, what does that really mean, right? So in our life, we are bombarded with different stressors. Now, back in caveman era, we had the saber-toothed tigers chasing us, right? We had that acute stress. Today, we're, it's much more of a chronic stress. We're not being lunged at for lunch for a tiger anymore. Instead, we have deadlines at work. We have financial woes. We have issues with our family and friends, all kinds of different things. Plus, there's all the stressors we're not necessarily even thinking about, the chemicals in our food and water supply, and even the air we breathe, uh, electromagnetic pollution, all these different stressors that are on a chronic but more subtle level that are attacking us. So what's important to know is that with adaptogens, right, these can help stimulate our body. They're actually stressing our body in such a way that our body ramps up its own defense systems, our, its own ability to handle these stressors. Now, uh, ashwagandha specifically works a little bit differently than some of the other popular adaptogens such as rhodiola or eulothera or Siberian ginseng or even the normal ginseng, right? A lot of these can be stimulating, which they can be great, right? Giving you these, this energy and stimulation. However, we're mostly an overly stimulated uh, society, right? Downing cups of coffee, drinking red bulls, this sort of thing. Even just the hypernormal stimuli from social media, from TV and movies, uh, from porn and all that stuff. So the, we're overly stimulated. Ashwagandha works a bit differently than these other ones. It's more relaxing. It even can help people sleep better. Uh, not, for most people, it's not something that's going to knock them out right away, but you take it over time and it just helps you to get more deep restorative sleep. It helps you to be able to handle these stressors better so that a thing that would have set you off in the past, say your boss yelling at you, something like that, now it's no big deal. Uh, it can be likened to water rolling off of a duck's back. This is a really cool uh, attribute that ashwagandha seems to have. It just helps you better to deal with it. That I say would say is kind of the main thing. So with this, we can see biochemically in the body that cortisol often comes down and cortisol works on an inverse relationship with testosterone. So as cortisol's too high because it's stealing the starter material for the hormones, uh, testosterone tends to be low. If we can lower cortisol, often we'll see testosterone going up. And that's another really cool benefit. Uh, while we have at Lost Empire Herbs some other more like directly boosting testosterone herbs, such as our pine pollen tincture and Tonka Ali, I like ashwagandha, like I feel like I'm good on the testosterone front, but just taking ashwagandha uh, semi-regularly, I feel it's, it's kind of a more balanced uh, herb by itself. It's not more directly boosting, but it's helping with these background functions to allow the testosterone, the natural testosterone, to emerge from it. In addition, ashwagandha has some effects on uh, neurotransmitters on the brain. Specifically, it can be working on the GABA receptor, which is one of the reasons it may have these kind of calming effects to it because that is one of our kind of anti-stimulatory 
neurotransmitters. Uh, in addition, th some of the science is showing that it's neuroprotective. So if you have, uh, say, Alzheimer's in your family, you want to be looking at what can I do to help mitigate that from being a problem in the future, something that I can do prevent, then ashwagandha may be something that is helping on the brain health as well. Not as much detail in the science going there, but that's showing that ashwagandha, it's having this systemic effects throughout the body, from the physical to the mental, working all across the body to really help the body better handle these stressors. So there's a lot more detail about ashwagandha. You can check it out at lostempireherbs.com. We have in-depth articles and details about our stuff, but that's some of the benefits that uh, most men may just be interested in. So to recap, uh, it can help with exercise, it can help with testosterone, it can help lower stress, it can help protect the brain. Uh, oh, I didn't even mention sexual function, of course, along with testosterone and exercise being very similar, that can happen along with that. Lowered stress certainly helps there as well, uh, improve sleep, so lots of different benefits. Uh, this herb by itself is kind of like a formula just because it's, hap it's doing so many things across the body having these systemic effects. Uh, of course, there's many great ashwagandhas on the market, but I'd recommend you try ours at Lost Empire Herbs. We have a spagyric tincture that is grown around the Portland, Oregon area, biodynamically farmed, organically farmed, a uh, really cool stuff. There's not nothing quite like that on the market. If you head over to our ashwagandha page on lostempireherbs.com, you'll find the details that goes behind all that processing, all that preparation to really bring you some of the best ashwagandha out there. It's an amazing, amazing herb. It's one of my favorites, so I definitely recommend you give this a try. If you're a guy, as I said, lots of benefits for you on this one. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to find wealth more information that you'll find on these videos in the future. If you're not watching this on lostempireherbs.com, head on over there and check it out. We have so much more available to you. We're really in the business of educating people so that they can get great health with these herbs.